Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another swatch and review video for you guys and it's on the Essie Cashmere Matte Collection. It is a collection that will be out for August and September here in Australia and they all die to a matte finish but you can put a shiny top coat over them, they look amazing. So if you guys want to see some swatches of these polishes and what I think of them, then just keep watching. The first polish we have is Wrap Me Up, the perfect light nude colour. This is definitely for people with more fairer skin, it makes you look a little bit more tan. Uh, one thing, I did two coats in this video, it was still a bit streaky so you probably need three. Um, and it definitely looks good with a shiny top coat as well. I really like this colour, as I said it kind of makes you look a little bit more tan than you are, which is good in my books because I'm kind of really fair. So definitely a cute colour for any time of year but also great for winter and fall. Then we have Just Stitched, which is the perfect baby pink colour. This has a lot of iridescence in it, but once it dries to the matte uh, like texture, you can't really see it. It's only when you put a shiny top coat on you can. Again, this one was a bit streaky, um, so that's why I did a third coat with this one. Definitely needs the third coat. It's not a very opaque polish. But again, a great polish for any time of year, and that matte like finish it gives is great, but when you put that shiny top coat on, that iridescence really stands out. Next we have All Eyes On Nudes, which is kind of more of that coffee coloured nude. It's very dark, probably not for someone my skin tone, probably for someone with a darker skin tone, but it's still a really cute colour. Um, it is a little bit sheer, so you know if you do two thick coats, you'll get away with it. Not streaky in the slightest, doesn't really have an iridescence to it, but also looks really good with a shiny top coat. I like it for any time of year. Next is Cozy in Cashmere, which is kind of more of a simple brown polish. This one has a little bit of iridescence in it, uh, kind of a bluey toned. You can't really see it, as I said, when it comes to the matte. Two coats on this one, absolutely gorgeous colour for any time of year. Perfect for though for winter. When you put that shiny top coat on, it definitely brings out that blue iridescence and makes it look absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of my faves in the collection. Next we have Cote Couture, which is more of a purpley brown than the last one. A lot darker as well. Uh, you could probably get away if you're a one coat person with a one coat of this, if it's thick. As you guys know, I'm a two coat person. I have to do two coats. It's in my nature. But I love this polish as well because that iridescence, again, really stands out with a shiny top coat. These polishes are great because you can stick with the matte, top, uh, matte texture or you can add a shiny top coat, whichever you prefer. I really like this one as well. It's quite dark and it will be perfect for winter and autumn. And the last polish is Spun and Lux, which is kind of a charcoaly dark not quite black colour. It has a ton of blue iridescence in it which makes it look amazing once it's dried matte but when you put a shiny top coat on top of this one it is amazing. I think I've been wearing this one mainly with a shiny top coat because it's incredible. I'm in love with it. It's a great polish and really you can use it in summer if you want to darken up a look. It's a really really a great all-round nail polish. This is probably my favourite in the entire collection. As you guys saw, I did put some uh, just close-ups of a shiny and a matte one that of each next to each other just to show you guys what it will look like if you do put a shiny top coat on. But my thoughts of this collection, they're incredible. I love Essie, you guys know that. They're probably my favourite brand, but they've really outdone themselves with this collection. It really is almost flawless, other than those two streaky ones. But I really like the fact that they have that iridescence in them and make them look 
better than just a flat matte polish. It really brings that va va voom to the polish that you need. I love the formula on these ones. I often tend to find that matte polishes dry too much before I even get a coat on and then it kind of peels itself up. That doesn't happen with these, but they also dry really, really, really fast. They're incredible. And the thing I love about matte polishes is you can tell when it's dry because it's matte. I definitely think the range in this collection is great. It will be perfect for any time of year, the lighter ones more, but I really like the darker ones as well because they're great in summer for that nighttime look that you want to pull off. I think all of these polishes will look amazing with a shiny top coat, but yeah, there's nothing really more I can say about this collection. I absolutely love it. It's a great collection and the Pro Wide Brush has won me over. I didn't like it at the start, but now I've had a couple of collections with the Pro Wide Brush and I'm kind of loving it. So that is my thoughts on these polishes today. Let me know down below which color was your favorite. I love hearing from you guys. I've got a couple of videos pre-filmed that will be coming up and they're pretty cute too. So look out for those. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.